YOLO unique people of YouTube. So today I want to talk to you guys about sociopaths. And the reason why I want to talk to you guys about sociopaths is because I've taken a few psychological tests in my time, man. And the first time I took a test uh, to see if I was a sociopath, I actually came out 98% most likely I was a sociopath. And then I retook the test because I thought, uh, like, I laughed at it. I didn't really believe it. And then I scored a 95 while trying to switch some of my answers around, you know? And then a couple years later, I took the test again. And, and once again, I was like 92%. So I've, the actual test is called a, uh, it's called a biosocial analysis I think it's longer than that I think it's four four letters it's like a biosocial something something but my my fiance at the time uh, she had her master's in psychology and criminal psychology and I was with her for the, for eight years so since the beginning of the time she started school and she was uh, I guess you can say suspicious of the fact that I might be a sociopath. Now, I'm not fully excluding, <laughs> not fully excluding it, but uh, I didn't fully buy it either. Now, the issue with sociopaths is that there's very little known. There's a lot of stuff in regards to, for example, someone was labeled a sociopath but it had more to do with labeling them a sociopath in order to get a better uh, criminal sentence or to reduce a criminal sentence or it, it usually had to do with court. And I have a pretty good hypothesis on why that's the case that sociopaths are not, um, are at least it doesn't seem to be that common and it doesn't seem that there's a ver large variety of information regarding sociopaths. Now, you should not cons like conflict this with psychopaths. They're two completely different things. And I'll give you a perfect example of the difference between a psychopath and a sociopath. A psychopath, any given at least the data shows that uh, any uh, hint of weakness that you show or vulnerability, they're gonna fully take advantage of that. And just the fact that you're perceived weak by this person that's a psychopath is gonna hone in and take full uh, advantage of you. Now, in comparison to me, I don't get off on it, on weaker things. Like if I if I sense that you're weaker than me, that that doesn't get me off for me to manipulate you. Um, manipulating you, I might as well just manipulate a kindergarten class, right? Like there there is no interest there. Um, on the contrary, what I what I personally would do is I, I don't like using people, right? And using people is, is a pretty broad term, right? But I'm more like, uh, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna persuade you using the truth because I don't need to lie. There's absolutely no reason to lie. I'm not gonna assume that uh, my intelligence is way beyond yours, or if I cast out a lie or some bullshit that you're not gonna eventually catch it or eventually find out. I don't need to deal with none of that. Why would I? Now, in regards to my emotions, um, in regards to my emotions, my emotions are very toned down. 
extremely toned down. Doesn't mean I don't feel anything. That that I think that would be crazy to to think that someone doesn't feel anything. I think there's a there's a spectrum in terms of feelings, right? Regardless of whether it's happiness, sadness, right? You can say depression and love, right? Like some examples are like fear, um, all kinds of shit, you know? Uh, anxiety like this guy is having right now. He's having a mental breakdown, tailgating the guy. He doesn't know if he wants to pass him or not. Now he's gonna make his presence felt because he's angry like a little bitch, right? So I don't feel none of that. To me, it, I would think if I'm gonna start driving, I assume there's a lot of people that are not able to drive very well. And therefore, I should be able to drive better than those people and just cruise by them without any bullshit. Um, even fear, man, I, I my sense of fear is extremely low. Now, why did my fiance think that I was probably a sociopath? Well, one thing, she noticed that I was not falling in love with her I was in love with her but I was not in love with her which is really weird and it, it took like fucking five years for me to start developing actual feelings for this person and I mean we hung out every fucking day um, gorgeous person just head to toe gorgeous intelligent super sweet like everything you can look for in a person right this person had it there was absolutely no need for me like most people would fall head over heels for this person but she realized like that she was in love and i was lacking this um, this emotion and lacking a lot of emotions and i think i'm divulging a little more information than i'm usually comfortable doing but you guys don't know who the fuck i am so it doesn't really matter. Now, in regards to sociopaths, the, the DSM-5, the current DSM-5, um, and if you do more reading on sociopaths, there is this inert uh, instinct to protect what can't protect themselves, essentially animals. Um, in regards to animals, in regards to little kids, in regards to things or human beings or creatures that I deem are incapable of defending themselves, um, I have a heightened sense of wanting to protect. Um, I don't like that bully mentality or that bully you know the way of thinking it's like you know if you're really tough or if you think you're really fucking tough well you know why don't you go pick on someone your size or someone bigger at least you'll have a challenge and at the end of that if you if you come up on top at least you can go home with some type of pride even if you got your ass beat, you can at least go home with some type of dignity, right? At least you got your ass beat by a bigger man, a stronger man. Otherwise, you, like to me, um, it's like you can't just, like big old me can't just walk into a kindergarten class and start picking on kindergartners and making them cry. Like it, it, that, that type of, it, that doesn't sit right with me just doesn't make any fucking sense and I think the big deal with sociopaths is a big misunderstanding and that's why there's this there, there's this uh, notion out there that sociopaths are these evil bad people when that's not really the case it just um, I guess the best way I can say it is I walk around pretty confident. I walk around cool, calm, and collected. I'm respectful to people, and I demand that respect back. And 
in regards to confrontations, since I don't have that much emotions invested in even confrontations, I'd rather like tone it down. But if I notice you're trying to get up on me or you're trying to step on my toes and now it's becoming you trying to dominate me, now we have a problem. Because the second I sense that you're trying to dominate me, I'm instantly going to dominate you. Just instinctively. And I'm going to go ham on it. And if it goes beyond just presence, me dominating you with my words and my presence and whatnot, it's like, hey man, you... You fuck with the bear, you get, you know, you get fucked up, right? Like, don't go poking at the sleeping bear, you know? Don't go fucking with the pit bull, like, why'd you get mauled, right? So, it's very much that way where I, it's like I don't have that much invested in it, but the second it becomes a dominance issue or the second it becomes a... Uh, some sort of a violent altercation, man, I'm going to take it to the max. You know, I'm going to take it farther than you're willing to take it, just instinctively. I'm just going to go past, I'm going to pass any fucking line you draw on the sand, and I'm going to go beyond that, and most likely uh, you're going to completely rethink your life after that encounter, and it, it just is what it is. Um... Would I feel bad about doing that? No, absolutely not. <clears throat> absolutely not. I look at that as uh, me defending myself. Um, just because, you know, my emotions are toned down. Just because I'm more calm and collected than the average person. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that I don't have instincts, right? That doesn't mean I don't have... Uh, this consciousness it doesn't mean I don't feel pain right um, therefore like any living thing and this is another thing about about normal people that, that I, I really don't fucking understand is why is it that you guys think you're fucking special why do you guys actually think you're fucking special in any way shape or form right like you guys think like other mammals I won't, I won't even go into like fucking other creatures I will go into other creatures but how do you guys think that you're intelligent you have emotions you think right you're sentient you know you have feelings but other creatures like dogs cats lions tigers elephants they don't have any emotions or reptiles they don't have any any fucking they're just they they're just walking instinct right yeah or fish or whales and dolphins like how the fuck do you guys think you're better than all these other fucking creatures you're just another fucking creature on two legs walking around half retarded most of the fucking time because you've been brainwashed by your surroundings and if you don't think you're brainwashed I'll ask you a simple fucking question. What language do you speak? Do you speak any language? Well, that was based on your upbringing. You've been completely brainwashed into thinking, acting, and talking in the language you're comfortable with. If you were born in China, you'd be speaking Chinese. If you were born in fucking... Uh, Russia, you'd be speaking fucking Russian. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's how brainwashed you are. You guys just have no sense of, most people just don't have any fucking sense of how brainwashed they really are. It's like, your surroundings completely molded you, you know? Um, but yeah, you're no, you're, no more, you're no more fucking special than anything else. Like, if I, in complete 100% honesty, and I'm, I'm divulging a little more information than I probably should. But in complete fucking honesty, if I had the choice of shooting some random person in the fucking head or shooting a fucking elephant, I wouldn't hesitate to shoot the person. 
You know what I'm saying? There's like 8 billion of you motherfuckers. What, like, elephants are on the endangered species list? I think they take a little more priority over you. It is what it is. It takes a little more priority than over me too. It, it just is what it is. You know? It, it's like an animal that's almost going extinct, dude. Um, fucking bears, lions, tigers, like, yeah. I'll, I'll take out like two, three of you compared to one of those. It just is what it is, man. I guess maybe that's... I think that just my my emotions out of the equation and just thinking in terms of logic, reason, numbers, and what whatsoever. You're not the next fucking Einstein. You're not the next Nikola fucking Tesla. All right? You, you really don't matter in this fucking world. Unless you're, you're doing something so uniquely important that you're... you're uh, you're not dispensable, right? Like, you're so important that no one can can fire you and replace you the next day. Unless you're that person of which there's probably less than a million of those fucking people on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so fucking rare. Uh, I doubt you're it. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm not it either. It is what it is, right? Therefore, you're expendable. Uh, therefore, your children are expendable. That's why we want 18-year-olds to join the army and go get their fucking legs blown off or whatever the fuck or go kill people, you know? Because they're expendable. Now, if you are a Nikola Tesla, well, fuck. You're going to be taken into, like, fucking secret headquarters and never be heard of again because you're going to be working on secret shit that we won't find out until like 50 years fucking later you know um but yeah in regards to sociopaths man we get a bad rap because of these stupid fucking movies and because of people's i want to say low iq lack of desire to to be intelligent lack of a desire to increase their IQ, increase their intelligence, increase increase their knowledge, right? That's a desire. Most people don't even fucking realize that being smart is a choice. It's a choice a person makes that, you know what, I, I want to gather knowledge and I want to become wise, right? And I want to learn as many many things about so uh, as many things about everything as I possibly can, right? And that that desire makes a person intelligent, man. It's the same thing that that causes someone, for example, like they go into school for fucking twelve years to become, you know, a brain surgeon. You know, that's a desire. That's that's twelve years of fucking school, five days a week. 12 years straight that's dedication that that's a person that that made a choice not not only for their future but they desired to be intelligent and i guarantee you that person did not have the same iq going into school as they did when they left school so these things man they're they're, they're not just they're not just arbitrary the smartest person on the planet, man. He was the son of two parents that were psychologists. And these parents decided to, to raise their child as if this child was an experiment. And starting day one, they literally just packed this kid with so much fucking information. This kid... Uh, I think he spoke something like 16 languages. He had an IQ of, I think, like 185 or 285, some ridiculous number, man. Um, and then he, this guy was supposed, you know, there was all this hope thinking, you know, the, the person with the most IQ is going to solve all the world's problems. And this guy eventually just ended up 
living a very secluded lifestyle. I think he had, he moved to the woods and, and started to live very secluded. And that's because uh, the more information you take in, you kind of lose a lot of uh, emotions as well. And there's a reason for that. Uh, one of my favorite sayings is, the world is a tra tragedy to those who feel. And the world is a comedy to those who think. <clears throat> and when you're packed with a lot of information, you tend to think um, using logic and reason and scientific theory and probability, you know, in terms of percentages, in terms of you know, what takes priority over something else. Um, all that desensitizes your emotions. So at the end, this guy, um, he had it with with society, man. He, he basically gave the middle finger to society and, and uh, went and lived a secluded lifestyle. And uh, from everything I read, man, um, he seems to, in my opinion, to be a sociopath as well. Um, in regards to, if I see other sociopaths, do I, do I recognize them? No. No, I don't. I don't. But I do pick up on, on like, I'm hypersensitive to, to people's emotions. Like, I'm hypersent. Like, I'll pick up little nuances that most people will not pick up on um like my my, my ex-fiance that i was talking about hypersensitive to every little gesture she made I, I knew exactly what she was thinking who what where when why and how like it was just instinctive um same thing like uh i was also married and divorced and same thing with that person like it just I don't know if it's um, I'm hypersensitive to people um, or if it's because I choose to be aware of this person's emotions and what they're thinking and why they're thinking these things, right? Like, I also know a lot of psychology, which means when people speak, I, I tend to look past what they're just saying and I look at why they're saying it and how they came to that conclusion and what you know led them to that even without them realizing they were led to that point you know to have those thoughts and, and say what they're saying um i'm extremely creative uh i'm extremely creative i can macgyver fucking almost anything um I'm amazing in terms of uh, art. I can draw really well. I've always had that gift since I was a kid. Um, I am, let me see all the other things that might or might not have anything to do with, with sociopaths. Um, uh, I have amazing reflexes, a lot better than normal people um, in terms of, yeah, way more than normal people. It's just, it's amazing. It's, it saved my life many times um, in terms of how I view the world. Um, it's very easy for me to look at a situation just instinctively i'm able to look at a situation from my perspective the perspective from the side and the percept perception from above and the perception from above is uh like if you were in the sky looking down right like does it really fucking matter what street i'm driving on right now absolutely not we look like ants from up there we're not that fucking important um, but yeah, uh, I think I might make a part two of this video later on, 
maybe when I get my thoughts together, this is just off the cuff, you know, straight from the hip. And uh, yeah, this was on my mind recently because the older I'm getting, I'm starting to actually think that there might be something to uh, me being a sociopath that might be a possibility. I never excluded the possibility. I just didn't think I was because I had this perception that a sociopath does not have emotions. And that absolutely does not make any sense to me. That a person lacks all emotions, period. Um, I'm sure there is one or two people out there in the real world but um, I think it's highly unlikely just the way we're wired, right? We're wired chemically, neurologically, right? Like, um, yeah, the way we're wired, it's almost impossible for us not to have any emotion at all. Um, yeah. Solo, bolo, yolo. I guess you guys have a good day.